Billing details emerge. A victim of the suspect in the serial rapist trial details her horrifying attack. It's what she says happened right after that left an entire courtroom stunned. And we'll start there today at 5. That victim says right after the attack, Ike Smith spent close to an hour talking to her about religion. And that startling testimony, Devin, came today at a hearing in Dearborn Heights. Let's get right to Jermont Terry. He joins us now. Jermont, these are startling new accusations. They are, Carmen. You know, this victim testified and told the court that she was raped years before. And on the night that Smith is accused of coming into her home, she was determined to protect herself and her child that was sleeping right in another room. But instead of throwing punches, this woman decided to use the power of prayer. Back in court, this time in Dearborn Heights, Ike Smith stands accused of raping 34 different women over several years. But today, he was here to address one case from December 2013. On the stand, a woman testified how she was awakened out of her sleep. I rolled over in bed and I saw a flashlight in the doorway. She told the court that man jumped into her bed as her three-year-old slept in the next room. I'll hurt her, I'll hurt you. He held a knife to my neck. The woman testified she informed her attacker she was previously raped. Trying to make him see me as a person, to have sympathy for me. Smith is accused of backing off briefly. I still have a desire, I still want to do this. I want you to feel how excited I am. And he took my hand and made me touch him. Those in the courtroom listened as the witness said she started praying out loud, not for herself, but for the man in her room. He got off the bed and walked around in circles and he said, why did I pick this house? Why did I pick this house? And I said to him, I said, maybe it's because God wanted you to hear a message. For more than 45 minutes, she bargained with the intruder. The man eventually opened up about his childhood and how his mother was a drug addict. All of that, he ended up in foster care. And while he was in foster care, that he was sexually abused by one of his relatives. And so that he blamed his mother. Some chilling testimony. Now, the victim testified that Smith told her that the devil made her come into her house and attack her and these other women. Now, prosecutors say that Smith eventually left without further harming that woman in Dearborn Heights back in December 2013. He is charged with sexual assault, home invasion and torture charges the judge bound over for trial. Reporting live in Inkster, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Oh, quite an ordeal for this woman. 45 minutes dealing with this ordeal. What was Smith doing during the testimony? Was that a Bible I saw on the desk in front of him? <laughs> You're exactly right, Carmen. He was really looking straight ahead, but often looking down, flipping through pages of a Bible. He also left out of court with that Bible clutched right underneath his hand. I don't know if it was an indication that this woman potentially played a role in this life, but mm -hmm. obviously a little too late to, uh, for, as according to prosecutors. So that's what we know at this point. All right, Arjun Monteri reporting for his live.